Hey girl, it's Dari and I'm back with another vlog. If you're new to my channel, thank you for landing your jet here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video because I am a deep thing and you're gonna wanna see more of me. If you don't believe me, just keep watching. So if you watched yesterday's vlog, then you know I have a lash appointment coming up, which is actually now, right now, at this moment. We're about to get ready and walk in. That's how we're gonna start this vlog off because your girl, it's not giving this is not giving and with me being a girl that's always in front of the camera i always have to look my absolute best but my last tick was celebrating her 30th birthday at the country and i'm a loyal client you know i'm a loyal client so i've been wearing strips but i don't put them on every day uh, that's just something that i'm gonna do when i'm doing my makeup getting pretty but you know these lashes i have to wake up on it so let's go get these lashes done y'all see the before Mm -hmm. So I'm done getting my lashes done. No longer looking like a naked morat. I wanted to bring y'all in there with me, but it's just raining today and it's just too much. Like it's just too much. I don't have my tripod. I don't know. Earrings. Like I had to rush and do my hair. Like mm -hmm. yeah, but these my lashes really thick and wonderful. So we go to the beach next week for the money birthday. That's just gonna be just right. Now I gotta go get some food because I have not had nothing to eat all day, y'all. So. I don't know what I'm about to eat, but we finna find something to eat because I am starving. So let's go. Good morning, y'all. So I don't know if I talked to y'all yesterday, but it is Saturday. I think I started a weekend vlog, yeah, because I started to get my lashes done. It's Saturday morning. I'm really just getting up. Well, I had to go get some food. We got some crazy puffs. This is my last week in bed. I'm gonna get back in the gym next week. So had to go on, get out of my bed, eating out the way. Money got his own box. I'm not playing. Like, money got his own box. And I got mine. We got the marinara. Because, yeah. When I had them little four last time in the other vlog I showed y'all, it was just not enough. It wasn't enough. Mm. I got to get my diet together, though. We can make in the gym next week, so... Mmm. Mmm. I need some water. But on the agenda today, I just got um work. I gotta do a client. I ain't got a full day today. I ain't gonna lie, this been a slow week. I don't know what's going on. I ain't got number one client today. It's another girl inquiring. I don't know if she's gonna come though. I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I wanna do something though, I ain't gonna lie. I wanna do something like, next week start the real spring break, so I definitely wanna do something. We gonna see what it's giving. But I know right now, before I go to work, cause I got to go to work at two, I'm finna try to, well I'm about to get money a bath and while she's here, and I'm gonna do some waxing. So, I'm gonna tell y'all I'm finished eating.
get so thirsty to put me in beef Got set in my words and start looking too deep I look at the tweets and start sucking my teeth I'm letting it rock cause I love them to see I still wanna give me a song who I be Can't trust everything that you saw on IG Just know if I diss you, I make sure you know that I hit you Like I'm on your call ID I'm naming the album to fall off It's pretty ironic cause it ain't no fall off for me Still in this bitch getting bigger They waiting on the kid to come drop like a father to be Love when they argue the hardest MC Is it can't die, is it all for your me? We the big three like we started a league But right now I feel like my homie Connecting no more, feel like I got a job in IT Rhyming with me is the biggest mistake The Spider-Man meme is me looking at Drake It's like we recruited your homies to be demon deacons We got them attending your weight Hey, how the gang got away from the bars Man, this shit like a prison escape Everybody stepping, we're fucking And everybody breakfast And I'm about to clear my plate I show up as motion picture blockbuster The goat with the golden pen, the top toucher The spot rusher, spray this whole shit up The crop duster, not rusher But apply pressure to your cranium My cold's automatic when aiming on With the boy in the status of stadium Nigga I'm back now Yeah I'm about to click out on this shit, I'm about to click boom. I'm down to click out on you hoes and make a crime scene. I click the trigger on a stick like a high beam. And I would bend it real good when I was 19. She call my number, leave her hanging, she got dry clean. She got an Android, her messages is lime green. I search one name and end up saying 20 teams. Nadine, Christine, Justine, Kathleen, Charlene, Pauline, Claudine. Man, I pack them in this phone like some sardines. And they send me naked pictures, it's just small things. You niggas still taking pictures on a golf stream. My youngest richer than you rappers and they all stream. I really hate that you been selling them some false dreams. Man, if your pub was up for sale, I buy the whole thing. Will they ever give me flowers? Well, of course not. They don't wanna hear that talk, cause it's a sore spot. They know the boy, the one they got a boycott. All right, so now that we got the money situated, I'm about to try to at least wax my lip right now. Probably my underarms too, you know. I'm probably just gonna have enough time to waste my lip. I might just have enough time to clean this out and not even worry about it. But yeah, I need to clean out the last wax from the last time we did some waxing. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna heat the wax back up because when I was up researching how to clean out these kits, that's that one heat the uh, wax back up because you want that you want it you want it waxy to get it out that's step one while that's heating up though i'm about to go ahead and do my hair oh, i'm probably gonna take this shirt out though because i don't want to wear this shirt to work oh yes i will i, I can just put my a on you said what the money baby i'm just gonna straighten up my hair because it's like 12 43 and i gotta go to work at two my client is at two but then i still gotta drop the money off at his grandma house so i need to be leaving by like 1 15 or so oh lord flat irons ain't even hot i don't know what i'm thinking about okay well we want our flat irons to warm up still waiting on these wakes to milk though and then i know i'm gonna need one of the little sticks let me look at the stick I did pay attention to the comments that y'all left about waxing and stuff. And y'all gave me like some little tips and advice on what I could do differently. So I definitely saw that y'all told me to get a baby powder to put on before I wax. And when I think about it, they do that when I get my sugar wax. So I'm going to get some baby powder. And then y'all also told me to put more, use more beads and put more in there. And then it was one more thing that y'all told me to do. I gotta go back and look. But I be listening to what y'all be telling me in my comments. Cause y'all know last time that was my first time doing the at home wax. So y'all gave your girl a couple pointers. It's really appreciated. Cause I needed that. That's what I was hoping for. That's why we do it together. See that's why I gotta do it with y'all. Cause if I would've never did it on camera I would have never got the tea. I love y'all. Okay. Let me fix my hair. Oh, crap. Here I am. I got a couple of dollars I'm going to spend on my own hair. Here I am. 
So she can be my lady, she could be my lover. Here I am. Y'all remember that song? This is my song. And I don't know why that just popped up in my head. I be slaying this. I be slaying this little hairstyle. People like, oh, how you get your hair to last so long? Girl, you just gotta know how to maintain your hair. You can't be getting no style and you don't know how to maintain it. Every time I, I get a style, I think about the maintenance and how long it's gonna last. Here I am. I gotta do a wig and style this week. And I cannot braid. But if I'm not mistaken, the lady told me she could all have anyways. And I'm hoping by all of it, she needs all of it. Because if not, that girl is getting molded down. Or she's going to have to reschedule. Because these little bows on my nails will not let me be great. Like, they be getting caught up in everything. So, even though this is like one of the cutest nail sets ever that I've ever had in life, I can't. I just can't do the, I can't do the charms. I can't do the charms. I can't do all the stuff getting caught in my nails. I can't do it. It's an inconvenience. I am a hands-on woman. So I can't be going through that. wax is hot we're gonna take this out and what they said to do is get this and put it in here and you just go get all of it out as much as you can okay maybe i need to put this back in here because this is pretty freaking hot that was done with me Okay, let me see, quit doing extra stuff that they didn't tell me to do. They really said tissue, so let me see what tissue give. Because I'm being hard headed for real. Like, I just done. No, I'm turning this off, though. I don't think I need this either. I need to get up in there. But I guess they say use that because it is hot. But I find it better to do it with my hands. Okay, after that, you're just going to take some oil. This is the first oil that I had laid eyes on was this black Jamaican castor oil. But apparently it's nothing in there, so it's like I lied. Let's find more oil. All right, so I'm going to use some of the almond oil that I just was using. And you just want to put some of that in there. Not too much. And then you're just going to clean it out. And the oil is going to get rid of the stickiness. And the reason I'm cleaning this out is because I want a fresh wax. And I also want to try a new um, scent this time. Alright, and honestly, she's good as new. So, I'm just going to put the top back on. And when I get home tonight, when I get home, we'll do waxing. Ooh! I don't know what flavor I want to do today. But we're not going to do the one we just did. We're going to try a new one tonight. And I'm excited. Okay, it's 1 o'clock now. I need to be leaving like in the next 10 minutes. I just got to finish doing this other side of my hair. I hate, I don't know, like I need some advice because y'all be having advice for everything. Can somebody give me advice on how to do the back of my hair to the best of its ability? Because I, I feel like my flips be looking a little crazy in the back or just my hair, period. This comb is the weakest ever, but where is my comb at? Comb, what do I like? For me, baby. I like to comb those nails out. I don't just keep them there.
so I didn't end up going nowhere the other day, y'all. So it's a new day. And I hate that this camera be all up in my face. Like I was editing my last vlog and it was showing like all my little dark spots underneath my chin and stuff. So now it's like we gotta really get into the skin because it's just like yeah, I can't be looking like that on camera. Because a lot of girls be hating me out. And I know that's a surprise to y'all because I'm such, I'm such a likable person. But I can guarantee you, it's a couple people watching me for probably about a man. You get know what I'm saying? Like, probably about a man. Because that's all it be. A man. Or maybe their friend don't like me or something like that. And, you know, I just feel like I put myself out so much on the internet. It's just like an open portal for people to jump and dig into my life. Which I'm not worried about that. But, you know, people, they don't care for you or like you like that. They be looking for the smallest stuff to talk about. Which, I'm not... Um, insecure about my little dark spots or whatever, but you know, it don't hurt to get it fixed. But, anywho, you guys, so I have a doctor's appointment and I'm actually pulling up now. It's 9 on 2. My appointment was at 9 o'clock. So, let's go up in here real quick and get these teeth checked on and cleaned up. And then I'll really be able to talk to y'all like once I leave here. <laughs> Okay, I'm gone from the dentist. Clearly, got my teeth clean. We are done. And now I'm pulling up at Chick fil A to get some food because I'm starving. Like, I haven't ate since I woke up. And honestly, like, I didn't even think I had all this stuff to do today. I really forgot about my dentist appointment. Then I forgot, okay, I had a dentist appointment at 9. Then I forgot I didn't tell my little sister that I'm gonna do her makeup at 11. So it's 9.52 now. But, baby, y'all gotta give me some food, honey, honey boo boo. Honey Boo Boo Girl, we ain't Chick-fil-A, and I already did my mobile order, so we about to skip the line. I love that for me. <laughs> yeah, just skip the whole line, period, because we're bosses, and we skip the whole line. And I supposed to went by the car wash after I left the Denny's. I supposed to have a slow morning, but I forgot I had all this stuff to do, and it's really blowing me. But after I finished doing my sister makeup I'm pretty much gonna be free and I want to go to the mall today because I need to get my stuff situated my baby birthday is Friday and we going to the beach probably Thursday um stay Thursday and come back Saturday so he already got like a shirt to wear for Easter Sunday because Easter because we got to come back Saturday because Easter is Sunday and my mama bought him a shirt thank God so he got like a shirt to wear and I already know what pants I want to put him on but I got to get him some shoes I want to try to find him some all white Air Force ones then I need to get him like a little outfit you know to like wear at the beach and stuff like that and then I also need to get him a hair appointment scheduled the girl that usually do his hair, she ain't takes me back. Like, I just don't know. I gotta get my baby hair by me, but. How are you? All right, you too. Okay, and it all just happened so fast. Like, all this is just taking me too fast, but I'm on the way home, and I'm, I'm about to try to eat my food on the way to the house, because I'm doing my sister makeup at home. So I'm about to try to eat my food on the way there. So in that case scenario, I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get there because y'all know I ain't got no trap out yet. So. Good morning, y'all. So it's the next day and I'm just waking up. Literally, I'm just waking up. I'm talking about fresh up. Like, I ain't brush my teeth, I ain't wash my face. I've done nothing. I just woke up and it's like 7.45 in the morning. At nine o'clock, I got an appointment to go get my hair washed out and braided down because I go to the beach. What's today, Tuesday? I go to the beach. No, yeah, today, Tuesday. I go to the beach Thursday. 
So I am about to take this hair down. I'm about to go get my hair washed and braided down. And I'm putting this wig back on. But the way that I'm going to do it, I'm going to leave some hair out in the front. So it's going to kind of give like leave out. I wanted to kind of give like a flip over quick weave. So I'm trying to give flip over quick weave, except I'm not doing a quick weave. I'm just going to put that wig on and then I'm going to leave some hair out in the front. So this is what I'm doing. So I guess y'all can just kind of stick with me while I take my hair down. So if I didn't get content, I just didn't get it. But, you know, I wasn't going to let that affect me. But I think that's what I need to do. All right, y'all, so clearly I'm gone from the house now. I'm headed to my appointment, but of course I got to drop money out first. Okay, y'all, so I got money dropped off, you guys. Why did I say Dollar General Market? The, the Dollar General, did they get their hair done? Look at this. Y'all see that? It's supposed to be, this used to be a Dollar General, but now it's a Dollar General market can somebody elaborate what is that about but anyways you guys i just dropped off the money you know got my baby some oatmeal some hash brown like one thing i can say like i really love being a good mom like i love being able to come through for my baby you know like just everything he need like he never go without like food clothes like but i don't get me wrong like as a mom of course i want to be able to do so much more for him which is why every day i'm thinking about my future i'm taking risks i'm taking chances like because i want my baby to have everything and more like when the book fair come i want him to be able to cash out 50 dollars at the school like snacks at the school like concession stand like i just want him to be super straight you know like and i want him to kind of be the one that the people that ain't got it like that they can kind of lean on him like i want my baby to be a real one he'd he be like you know if i got it you got it and then you know like just be buying his liquor you know like i just want that like i ain't have all the money at the field trip say the book fair i ain't get all the shoes that i wanted and you know what i'm saying and don't get me wrong my mom was a great mom but she had to prioritize you know what i'm saying but i want to be able to give my baby all the jays like i just want him to have whatever he want in his life like so it just be the little things to me like just being able to go get him breakfast you know like just being able to come through for him like every little time like it made me feel really good about myself but anywho i'm headed to get my hair washed out she gonna wash my hair blow jar is she gonna trim my in my ends and i'm paying her extra to do me a little braid down because today i'm gonna do my hair I wanna, I already told y'all that, I already told y'all that, I already told y'all what I'm doing, so yeah, I'm doing my hair today, this was on the agenda today, I don't have nothing else to do, oh my god, why y'all ain't telling me I had crust in my eye, oh, oh, it's in my lash, cause I was gonna say, but yeah, so, 
Well, today we're doing my hair. The only other thing I gotta do is I gotta do makeup at two o'clock. But it's raining so bad. Like I really want her to cancel or reschedule this appointment. I just wanna go home and do my hair and this. Yeah, I'm doing my hair real, real quick. It ain't gonna take nothing. Like once she get it braided down, the only other part to it is gonna be washing the wig because I am putting on a wig, but it's just not gonna be in wig form. I'm gonna still have a leave out, but I do need to wash the hair. So that's that. I'm gonna do like a little silicone treatment on the hair and I'm putting it on, you know, like it's a slow day, it's a chill day, it's raining. Hello, I don't need to miss my exit, which is right here. Okay, we about to get ready to pull up to the hair salon and I'm just gonna vlog while I'm there. So clearly I'm done getting my hair braided down. So you see, I just got the braids down in the back. Then right here, we got like a braid going across. You see this braid going across. This where, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I got like a braid to the back, then I got a braid going across. This right here is my leave out. And she's such a real one, she pressed my leave out for me. So when I saw the wig on, all I'm gonna have to do is just, I'm gonna have to curl my hair though because you know, like I'm putting on like some water wave hair, so I need my hair to look curly too. So yeah, I'm about to go home, do like a real good treatment on my hair so that it can just be like really soft. And then I gotta go to the spot store and get some needle and thread. And then we just gonna sew it down. And I'm gonna curl my leave out, do my baby hairs, and that's it, that's the vibes. Yeah, I'm headed to go pick up my baby right now though, cause he at my best friend house. So I'm about to go pick up money so I can be with his mama today. And then I guess I'm gonna come back and check in with y'all when I, I go home to put on my wig. But I did want to talk about something. So I was watching this, okay, it's this YouTuber that I watch or whatever. So I was watching her vlog today. So in the vlog, she had went on like a birthday trip and all that. That's neither here nor there, that's cool. Like, and I really like this specific YouTuber cause I feel like she really genuine. Like I can relate to her. Like, cause I'm, I'm not, I'm an it girl, but I'm not like, I, I still got my roots in me. Hold on, I got police. But I still got my roots in me. Like, I, it get very much black girl. Like, well, I'm not perfect. You feel me? We gonna turn up. We gonna be a little ghetto sometimes. Like, it just feel like realness. And this in particular YouTube, but I kind of feel like she gave realness too. But do y'all know that it's this girl birthday? And she's saying that she's younger than what she is. And it's just blowing me out. Because it's, it's not, it's, it's just, I don't want to say blowing me out. But it's kind of blowing me. Because that's the terminology I'm going to use. It's kind of blowing me a little bit. Because I've seen another girl do that before. Like, I know for a fact this other girl who i seen on Instagram. I know she was turning like, she had to be turning like 28, 29. And she was like, posting like, oh, it's my 23rd birthday. And this YouTuber who I really like, y'all, she just did the same thing. Like, I know she was turning a certain age. But she posted that she turned a whole other age. And I just think that's weird. Like, I, like how y'all feel about it? Like, can y'all explain this to me? Can y'all elaborate on why y'all think people do this? Because I feel like if you have a platform and you have girls that you inspire because you're an influencer or whatever, or just girls that can relate to you, like, you need to be relatable. Like, saying that you're two, three years younger than what you really is, I feel like that's fake and it's funny. Like, it's not getting relatable because now you might be saying, okay, for instance, 
you might be saying that you're 23 years old. I'm just going to use this for example. But whole time, you're turning 27. So what happens is, it's other girls that's 23 years old that might like you or might come across you. And you might have them feeling like they behind whole time. You're really just four years older than them. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think that's weird for people to be lying about their age. Like, you ain't got to just post your age. Like, if you don't want nobody to know how old you is, I get it. We women. Just don't say your age. Like, just don't talk about it. But to just lie, flat up lie about your age, that's weird to me. Like, I think that's weird. And that'll make me kind of sad at you. Because now I thought you was just this 100 YouTuber, but now it's kind of giving weird. Like, I don't like when y'all be lying about your age. Like, I don't understand what that's about. But I don't know. And that's going to be the giveaway. And in the comments, yeah, I got to tell me something that grinds my gears that I stated in this video. It might be, I, this going to be my own. I don't know if I said, this is what grinds my gears. This is what you need to put in the comments. What grinds Dari's gears is people lying about their age on social media. Like, I think that's weird. And unless y'all can give me a really good reason why people do it, let me know. Because I think it's weird. Why, why I be lying about y'all age? Like, we are getting older. It's okay. Like, and this is something that I see commonly. Like, girls, the girls really be lying about their age. Like, what's wrong with turning older than 24, 25, 20? Like, what's wrong, babies? I'm not understanding. Y'all need to stop lying about y'all age, though. That is mad weird. Yeah, so I'm at home now. We got the water boiling. We got the silicone mix. We got the wig. And I'm about to just. Let my water kind of come to a boil. I want it to be like really, really hot. And once this water get hot, I'm going to add in some of the silicone mix. All right, now that it's boiling, I'm going to add just a little bit of silicone mix. And I'm not going to keep it boiling the whole time. So we just add a little silicone mix up in here, honey. So it can just give what it needs to give, do what it needs to zoom. Why that's not coming out? We just gonna let this. Do what the little one to right here. And all we really focusing on is the bottom of the wig. But it's already getting softer. And then we gonna detangle it. It's gonna just be so cute. to come in the mail um this is another shipment that i ordered i had like three shipments on the way for new arrivals now i got just one more that i'm waiting on and honestly y'all uh, i've been ordered this stuff like this specific shipment here i ordered this a whole month ago and i've been waiting so like now i'm gonna be really pressed to drop new arrivals um i want i want to say this week but i'm just gonna probably have to drop in april which means i would not have dropped at all in march and it's just so irritating because they don't be me it be my vendors but i just have to figure out how to work around it so now i'm feeling like because usually i'll wait till i drop the new arrivals then i'll go and order more shipments but i'm gonna have to just go and order shipments and just try to make all my money back like oh uh, it's just so irritating um, but the good thing is I can go ahead and start making some of this money back because like these denim jumpsuits, I already dropped them. Y'all haven't seen them in the last vlog. I sold them. And this is just a restock. So, like I'm just not satisfied with this shipment. I'm going to dial the matter in the reviews. This is the little outfit that I was saying and it's like really fur. It's crazy. But this is the little outfit that I was saying I was going to wear with my boots. And I like the texture. I wasn't expecting it. So I'm just trying to see now when I can wear this little outfit. And then this is the little 
top to wear with it. But I have got to like drop these new arrivals ASAP. Like I might even might need to try to do it today because <laughs> it's about to be too hot. Like people not buying this type of stuff no more, and it's just so irritating because it's supposed to have been here. Oh. Yeah, I'm just really irritated, not gonna lie. Um, but I can go ahead and post it. I've restocked the denim jumpsuits. Then when you get the shipment, you gotta make sure they sent everything. So now I'm just looking at the inventory, making sure that all my stuff to uh large. I don't think they sent the right amount on about to scream. I am about to scream, bro. Okay, I'm supposed to have. Yes, they shorted me a medium in a denim jumpsuit. I'm pissed. I'm pissed off. Like, I'm so tired of them. I'm move back, money. Okay, so this is a vendor that I always shop with, but the man who I usually talk to, he has been, he said he got promoted in his position or whatever, so he had me working with another man, and when I tell y'all this man don't know what he is doing, like, he's really pissing me off, like, I'm complaining to him, because, <laughs> like, it has been so much stuff going on with this order, for one, when I originally ordered the stuff, I always ask, is the, are these items in stock and ready to be shipped? Because if they're not in stock, I don't want them. But of course, these women hungry Chinese people, they're going to say, yes, it's in stock. So mind you, I pay for the stuff. Let me tell y'all when I pay for this shit, man. So y'all know how it really is. Let me tell y'all when I pay for this shit, man. Okay, so I pay for this shit, man. No way, we still not done. I got to go back some more. Okay, so this was February 26th. It is March the 26th, y'all. So on February 26th, a whole freaking month ago, I said, so everything is available except the long sleeve denim. So he basically said, yes, yeah, the stuff that I want. So I said, okay, I would like to place an order. This was on February 26th. He said, okay, no problem. I will send a bill after work. I said, okay. I had to write him again later on that day and say, hey, don't forget, because he never sent it. So he sent it or whatever. Um, later that night at like 11 o'clock at night, he said, I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, friend. Please check it. I check it or whatever. And then by the time we write back and by the time I talk to him and everything, um, it's the 27th. So I paid on the 27th. From when he tried to overcharge me when I placed the order. So I had to send it to him like, I had to send it to him like, aren't these jumpsuits such and such amount? And then he said, yes, I'm sorry to apply the discount. So I have to tell you how to do your job. So I paid it on, on February 27th at 9 o'clock at night. I said, hey, please notify me once this order has shipped. Thank you. And matter of fact, let me go back up and screenshot when I asked, it was everything against stock? Because he audited. Because at this point, I really want to dispute the order. I'm so pissed off. But I like this company, so I ain't really trying to do that. I just want to work with somebody else. I'm just screenshotting everything for my receipts for when I go to fuck off on the ass. Boom. So I paid for, you know, like, let me know when they ship out. Cool. So then I also asked on the 27 after I pay. I say, do you know about how long it'll take to be shipped? This boy said one to two days, friend. That's what he told me on the 27th. Okay. So then he wrote back and was like, well, one of the outfits basically that I want is out of stock. And so, um, basically he gave me a partial refund for that. That was whatever. So, by now it's March the 5th. And I'm really trying to place a whole nother order with them. But the stuff that I want, not in stock and all this other crazy stuff. So, also on March the 5th, I say, and do you know when my order from 226 will shoot? So, he says, let me check. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, I say, okay. And he sent back a little emoji. I said, did you check? So, he said, March the 8th. He said, March the 8th. So I respond back, 
I said, okay, if you don't mind me asking, why is it all, taking almost two weeks to ship out when I originally wrote you and I asked you all the items available and ready to ship? And you said yes. So if it's ready to ship, why does it ship two weeks later? And then I said, just trying to see what needs to happen differently next time. Because when most vendors say it's ready to ship, it ship out in a couple days. Also, I asked, and then I was telling him I asked two questions because he had an only response to one thing. So he like, it was some things going on in the warehouse with the denim jumpsuits, because I did order some denim jumpsuits, so it was a whole delay. I said, do I get a discount or something on my next order for the delay, because I have a business to run and it's holding me up. And then basically he just like, I have many loyal guests who have been waiting for me to work. I don't give a f about that shit. I'm glad I don't. Excuse my language. So he said, I promise that I, it will go uh, some. So then I'm trying to also pre-order another shipment. He give me to run around on that. Like, he's just a horrible worker. And honestly, he needs to be fired. So basically, I write the other dude who I used to do business with. I'm like, I don't like working with him. Like, so then they start telling me, oh, he been sick. He been having a fever. Just give him another chance. So whatever. So, okay, time goes by. So on March 9th. I say order still not shipped. What happened? Because remind y'all, he said that it was gonna ship on March 8th. He said sent friend, and basically he just saying like he can't have the shit. He ain't got the tracking number. Cause some is at the warehouse, but he basically was saying it was sent. So I said, you don't have a tracking number. And he said it will be generated when getting on a plane. Please rest assured that you have sent the fastest logistics. This was on March the 9th. I just got this order. And now, matter of fact, the first order he sent, I did get it last week, but it was just like one of the outfits that I knew, like the main stuff was in this shipment. So, you didn't, then he said, Denim Johnson, this is another package. This is what he's saying on March the 9th. Mind you, he said this is another package on March the 9th as if it had already been shipped. Why am I just not getting it today on the 26th if you assured me that I had the fastest logistics? Oh, okay. I just want y'all to know that it don't be me holding up my boutique. It be these vendors, and I cannot wait to find a solution. So he ended up sending me the tracking number for the first shipment that I did got on the tour. And then I'm asking him about the denim jumpsuits. He still ain't saying nothing. He finally sends me a tracking number for that on the 17th. Like, I'm so mad. I'm finna blow in there so bad. Then I get the package today and everything not in there. I'm finna go. I'm finna go out. I'm talking to y'all later. Okay, girl. So I'm at the suite and I'm finally about to do my hair. My hair right here. I know I was supposed to bend it earlier. Look at that hole in my shirt. But um, I was planning on using my mom blow dryer because I was in my mom's house. But my mom is her anniversary is today, and her and her husband are on staycation, and she took her blow dryer with her. So I had to wait till I came up here. I told y'all I had to do makeup. I had to do makeup at to the girl getting her hair done she said she running late so i told her she can come in at three the girl's still doing her hair i guess so she was just like you know she's not gonna worry about it which is kind of good for me because i'm trying to go and get to this but literally this is the wig right here i just got to make sure it's completely dry and then i'm just gonna sew it on and i'm gonna do my leave out really cute and we'll be done this should not take no more than about 10 minutes so y'all just watch me work then i'm right back on with them they got some clothes on the payroll you niggas stick to them care of she with a p in the lid the condo we about to eat my giano helping the p out some beaming on knuckles thinking i should take the bronco oj gotta go get it tomorrow i'm selling out the apollo inside my body is hollow can up don't get your post out the ghetto you know that was always the motto that nigga won't talk out his side of his nigga just let it be young come and swallow Come my little brother, we pullin' us back in these niggas that thinkin' we hoes Don't do no explainin', I don't know what you thinkin', but you help a young nigga grow You add up the two rings up for my bangers, I feel like it's turnin' the mo Give out so many bands, about so many bangers, you ask me to run niggas know I been putting that shit on, show me but how to dress and get fresh and pull up with the hoes Don't care about no nigga, been sending me threats on the west, I get love for the low Let me turn back around and go back to a cell for a nigga with internet jokes But that shit, I'm still doin' it for Jeff and Lakita, you know it's R.P. to the boat And my heart cover than chrome, then I did not rock and chrome. Gonna back up at the home. That bitch, you passing me wrong. Half your little spin has been doing it wrong. I never talk on the phone. Yeah, class, they said they wanna be known. Man, that we didn't put them on. And I'm right back on with them. Still got some booze on the payroll. You niggas still tipping girl. She would have been in LA at the condo. We about to eat my Giano. Up in the P.I., so beaming on knuckles. Thinking I should take the Bronco. OJ, gotta go get it tomorrow. I'm selling out the Apollo. 
Like said, my body is hollow. Count up, don't break, get your post out the ghetto. You know that. My camera literally died, but this is what it's giving. All I've done was finish putting my hair in, and I did my baby hairs. Now I'm about to blend it in. I don't know if I want to do crimps or small flat iron but either way it go i'm recording a tiktok right now um while i'm letting my camera charge so yeah i probably just gonna have to go see the tiktok and to see how it went and then i'm just gonna check in with y'all when i leave it up there. Hey y'all, so I never came back yesterday and showed y'all my hair. I mean, it's a little slipped on, it ain't as fresh now. But if you watch that TikTok, I told you to watch it, you saw it. But it's the next day and it's currently like nine o'clock in the morning. Money got a hair appointment at 10 to get his hair done. It's just me and him the next four days, no work, no nothing. And I'm very excited about it, money. We going to the beach, you know, it's his birthday, we gonna turn up. But um, we're at Tropical Smoothie Cafe and I wanted to just come sit down and eat breakfast with him before his appointment. And, um, and we about to go in here and just eat. But let us go in here and get in here and I'm gonna come back inside the yard because I'm trying to see what he got going on. Okay, y'all, so we're in Tropical Smoothie. Money got chicken and cheese quesadilla. Show him your food, money. Show him your food. <laughs> money got chicken and cheese quesadilla. And he got a Jetty Jr. And this is a strawberry banana smoothie. And me, of course, I got the chicken pesto. And I got the detox island green like I always get. Chips for the side. And if I still got a little extra space, I'm gonna try one of them um, acai bowls to go. But I needed some solidity. It's good. This is mine. What? It's, yeah. You wanna taste it? My hair is really messed up. So it's like I want to do a day in the life, but I'm not really giving. I got like three reels I haven't edited yet. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three. Okay, let me buy this for mine. Money said he want to taste mine too. You want to taste my food? Okay, you taste mine, I'm gonna taste yours. Come on, let me buy this so you can get the meat. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Can I taste yours? It is a little spicy though. That's good. Yeah. I really like the sauce. All right, you guys. So we are clearly gone from the Tropical Smoothie Cafe, and Money is actually getting his hair his hair done. My friend is doing his hair because she's a really great braider. After she get through with his hair, he gotta go get a edge up. And then we gotta go to the mall. And this is on the to-do list for the day. The wind is gonna be real bad. And I ain't really touched my hair today, so I might look a bit y'all. But let's go see how money hair come out. What's your name? Let's see Hey. Can I see your hair? Ooh, you look so handsome. Your birthday Friday. Are you excited? You ready to go to the beach? Mommy love your hair. Even though you gave Jayla a hard time. We got it done. Okay, let's go to the mall. Come on. All right, so we're done. Money done getting his hair done. We were supposed to be going to go get his haircut next, but his daddy said he's just gonna take him 
in the morning so next stop is the galleria i need to find money some shoes and honestly i need to find him a birthday outfit and he need like some swim trunks and stuff and i need something to wear i just i don't know i don't know i need something I need. say thank you i'll get it so yeah i'm gonna meet y'all at the mall Good morning, 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 good morning. It be, it be kind of funny to me, like, when we be, when I be vlogging and the day just be progressing, then it's thing, you know, it's like, oh, this the next day. But yeah, it get hard out here, like, for a, okay, so, um, I posted Kevin and Tati, uh, um, when I got to the mall yesterday, because after money got his hair done, I remember I told y'all that I was going to the mall. But on the way to the mall, my dad, no matter of fact, when I was at the mall, my dad had texted me and reminded me that we were supposed to be linking up at 5.30. So, just when I thought I was about to be having a slow day, enjoying my little mall run, it's like, dang, now I got to rush in the mall because I got to go meet my dad and my sisters out to eat for the blending time and i really wanted to do that like I, I'm, I was actually really excited about that and it was like in, intentional for me like i had closed my books and everything but just being a girl with it was really money hair appointment it ran over a lot longer than i expected it to and they kind of just threw off my whole day but long story short the reason that i didn't come back and talk to y'all at the mall is because after you know, when I realized that I had somewhere to go, I was kind of in a rush. And I wanted to make sure that I was being effective in the mall. Because sometimes when you vlogging, it can kind of be a distraction. And I just needed shopping to have my undivided attention. Because I literally wanted it to go to all the stores that I desired to go to, you know, in the amount of time that I had. So honestly, vlogging was like the last thing on my mind. It slipped it slipped my mind. And then I think by the time I did realize like, hey, I need to vlog, my mall experience was coming to the end to an end and it just wasn't gonna give like that. And then I had recorded some of the clips when I was out to eat with my family last night. So I mean I guess I'll show y'all those. Cause he will possibly get the whole one. Uh. <laughs> Maya. Dallas. Look. Dallas. Hey. <laughs> Money say hey. But. Yeah, it just didn't give. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna not even worry about it. So now we're here. It is now Thursday, March the 28th. And I'm really sad because spring break is coming to an end. You know, like, I have to go back to work Monday. And I'm not the happiest about that. Like, I've been enjoying this time off. But, of course, you know, every, all good things come to an end. But either way it go, on the other hand, I'm very excited because my baby birthday is tomorrow. I have a four-year-old tomorrow. So, excited about that. Um, today, we're going to head on out to the beach. I was kind of indecisive on Gulf Shores and Destin because originally I had planned to go to Destin. Then his daddy was like, with all the cousins going to Gulf Shores, just take him to Gulf Shores. But now he's just saying... Just go like I really hate all that, and I'm but I'm not gonna hang get into all that back and forth. That's why I just be quick to say, you know, like me and money, like, and I know, and the only reason that I really even considered go shorts is because I'm like, you know, just being real, he will have more fun if his other kids there. So, but of course, people was playing, and yeah, we might just end up going a distance like I originally had planned for. Like, I don't know much about go shorts. And I don't feel like researching it. I already knew what I wanted to do in this thing. Um, But anywho, what's on the agenda today is money has to go get an edge up. And I want to go get my eyebrows threaded if applicable. But I'm not going to like force it. 
um because i do need to get my eyebrows threaded it's been a minute especially since i haven't been going to there because i've been like doing my own waxes for the lips and stuff i haven't i, I didn't just decline i didn't forget all about the eyebrows child so I want to do that. I don't necessarily plan on going to the beach today, but I did want to do something fun for money to bring in his birthday, like out to eat, ice cream shop, you know, little things to do out there in Disney for kids at night. So this is on the agenda today. Right now, of course, I'm just slipping on something. Okay, you're not that thirsty because I tried to give you some water. Yep. Okay, if you want juice, you gotta wait till I go downstairs, Bookie. You honestly need to drink some water. But since it's your birthday tomorrow, I'm gonna let you slide. I'm gonna let you slide. I'm gonna let you juice it up. <laughs> but yeah, money already dressed. I get him on that way. But I'm just, I just threw on this little romper. This is just gonna be my little outfit that I'll rip and run in today and wear down there. But on the other hand, I will be starting a new vlog today just because I want this next vlog to be dedicated to the weekend and the money's birthday. And plus this vlog, I feel like is pretty lengthy. And I feel like it is so crazy because I feel like this vlog so long, but what, what have I been doing? I guess. I mean, I guess. But, oh, why I look so thick? Why that baby hair looks so thick like that? They just giving adult hair off like that, babe. But, um, yeah, so I'm actually about to get ready and end this vlog. I just wanted to come kind of conclude everything, catch y'all up, get y'all the vibes, and we about to get ready, honey, to head down to the beach. So, with that being said, y'all meet me on the next vlog. I love y'all. And thank you for tuning in for another episode of Dari's Diaries. And I just really appreciate y'all for, you know, I try not to cuss, but if it with me the long way. Like, I really do appreciate it. Like, because I be trying not to cuss, but at the same time, that's just how I talk. Like, I ain't finna be like, I really appreciate y'all for fooling with me. That sounds so corny to me. Um, like, y'all know how I feel about cuss words. Everybody cuss. So, why are we making them a big deal? Y'all already know how I feel about cuss words. But we ain't gonna get into that. Um, but, now I really do thank y'all for the continuous support. You know, just sit down watching my videos. Like, that means a lot to me. I don't think y'all know how much that mean to me. Like, YouTube is something that I really enjoy doing. Like, even though it get hard sometimes, it get pricey sometimes. Because I'm still thinking about that 900 I spent on that camera uh, last week. But even though, even though... Even though, you know, the fact that y'all support me, that means one day I'm going to make all my money back. So, with that being said, we're about to end this vlog and meet me on the next one.